Hello my bosom friends and welcome back to my channel. Pray you're all doing wonderful and are keeping in extremely good health and in perfect, perfect happiness. Today we're going to talk about the feminine energy, specifically during those times when you feel stuck. And I know we've all been in those situations. We find ourselves in situations where we feel stuck and it happens to the best and the worst of us. It's all part of life. And um, so the thing is, we just have to find a way to still feel feminine despite the challenges that life throws at us. I was taking a shower the other day and my feeble chef came to mind. And the good thing about water is that water is one of the greatest conductors of energy. So if you feel stuck in your feminine energy or just feeling heavy, definitely take a shower, take a bath, drink your water, hydrate. It does help to move things along and before you know it, you start to feel better, especially after a good bath or a good shower, specifically in the morning when you wake up, getting rid of that energy as you are sleeping and also the same thing at the end of the day when you come back home, you have collected all this energy. It's a good way to just get rid of it. But back to Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth, if you know your Bible, and if you don't, I'm just going to give you a condensed summary of who Mephibosheth is. He always comes to me every now and then. I feel like there's so much wisdom and esoteric knowledge in, in his story, basically. So Jonathan and uh, King David were best friends. Jonathan died in the war and Jonathan was the father of Mephibosheth. So Mephibosheth automatically became an orphan. But the sad thing about Mephibosheth is that it's, it's not just that he was an orphan, but he was also dropped when he was five years old. So as he was dropped, he became lame, he became crippled on both legs. And when his father died, he was sent to this place called Lodiba. This is a place of nothingness. Nothing happens in Lodiba. It's a dry place. and. So back to what I was saying about feeling stuck. Oftentimes we find ourselves in Lodiba, in a place of nothingness, in a place where we don't want to be productive, in a place where you know you wanna be feminine or you are feminine, but sometimes life is just throwing these challenges at you while you are in that place of, of nothingness. How do you still embrace that feminine energy and simultaneously being stuck in a between a rock and a hard place, if you will. So it's kind of difficult, isn't it, to let the energy flow while you are being stuck and being challenged, just like Mephibosheth was. So it turns out, one day King David had an epiphany and uh, he asked his servants, is there anyone of anyone still living of um, Jonathan's household because I want to show them mercy and one servant is like oh yes there is a child his name was his name is uh, Mephibosheth so David remembered that there was Mephibosheth and then he sent people to collect him from Lodi but this place of nothingness and they brought him in front of the king and King David said to him I'm going to restore to you everything that belonged to your father the lands and his riches so you went from a place of nothingness to actually being a sitting in the presence of the king on the same table and also being restored and being a a man of wealth a man of stature a man of uh, a man of influence as well because he was restored all these riches by david but what he said to me struck the most struck me the most because he said what is your servant that you should notice a dead dog like myself and once again, how does this correlate to the feminine energy? We're going to get into that in a moment. Looking at Mephibosheth, the greatest enemy of the feminine energy is stagnancy. The feminine energy is not supposed to be in Lodiba. You can be in Lodiba, in, a, in that place of nothingness, in that place of despair. Maybe life happens to you. Maybe it's not that you were dropped when you were young, or maybe life just happens, isn't it? It could be that maybe the engagement didn't become a wedding, or it could be that you want a child, you can't have a child, or it could be that you got fired. It could be that you lost the business. It could be that your best friend stopped talking to you. It could be anything that can just make you feel 
like giving up make you feel like throwing in the towel or you've gone on a multiple of dates and nothing is translating into a meaningful relationship that you can sort of build with right someone i mean you can build your life with someone you can build your life with someone basically so life can be challenging this is where we find ourselves in that place of of lodiba in that lodiba place so how can you start flowing i would say definitely start to imagine yourself anew start to see the possibilities and it's okay to heal in a place of nothingness this is uh, your hermit mode this is where you heal this is where you confront that which is confronting you but don't stay in Lodiba for too long because the thing about being in Lodiba for too long is that you end up forgetting you end up becoming comfortable in that place and before you know it yeah, it's just gonna become the familiar so I would say be in that place but don't stay there for too long because your whole life is waiting for you and also the thing to remember is that god is a god of many chances it's not just a god of one chance it's not a one hit wonder so i think we have to start thinking shifting our mindset from i would say lack to abundance so it could be a job that you lost you can get another one it could be a business so many people who started their businesses 10 years ago they're restarting again because that's the circle of life life comes in those different cycles the waves the tides so when the ups are up you just go with it and when the tides are down go down but don't stay down for too long my second point is make friends with the voices inside of your head. This is <clears throat> this is what's going to transform everything because it's not so much what people say that's hurt, that hurts the most. It's what we say to ourselves in the middle of the night or when we sit on the corner of the bed at two o'clock in the morning or just that negative chatter in the mind. As Mephibosheth said, what is your servant that you should notice a dead dog like myself? You really need to stop the negative chatter because the moment you become familiar, the moment you silence that inner critic, then you're going to start to imagine yourself differently. You're going to think, know that you are worthy of being this feminine woman. You're worthy of feeling good and looking good and being amazing and living a life that feels magical. But it starts by changing that inner dialogue because people will always have an opinion. Like we discovered in uh, why men love babe in, babes in total control of themselves you're not for everybody and that's okay like let people go let them go in peace because those are just not your people when it's your people it's going to feel amazing it's going to just flow basically like a river so you don't have to take it personal what matters is, is the enemy within or the enemy without. So change your inner dialogue, affirm that you're worthy, affirm, do your daily affirmations, do your, all those things that can rewire the mind, especially after being stuck in a, in a hard place. Point number three, depending on the level of, of your trauma, depending on the heaviness of that which you're dealing with, I would say get a therapist or maybe a coach because like now we're seeing uh, the rise of coaches, there are different types, you know, holistic um, psychologists, they're doing one-on-one -on -one sessions, they're doing them online, they're, you can walk into the office. If, you, if the waters are too muddy for you and your en feminine energy is not flowing the way you want it to flow, it, maybe it's time to bring in someone who can have a fresh perspective on that which you're going through because sometimes, like I said, when you're down in the trenches for too long, it can definitely be too heavy and before you know it, it just becomes the normal. So outsource the help if you have the budget for it. And like I said, healing is going to be amazing. It's not just for you, but it's for everybody who is connected to you. And also forgiveness is also for yourself, mostly for yourself, it's never for the person who did you wrong is for you so that you can move on to the next phase of your life. Point number four is motion creates emotion. You have to move your body. Mephibosheth, unfortunately, he could not move because he was crippled. So he was stuck 
for so long in Lodiba. We don't know exactly the amount of years you were stuck, but I would say it took it was years and years. So the thing is, move your body whichever way you can. In yoga, we do these hip openings, and I think they are so important, especially if you're a woman, because we women, we collect. So therefore, you need to release that. And also sometimes when people have long gone, have left your life, Sometimes that energy is still going to be stuck in your body. So the more you move your body, the more you can release that energy and the quicker you can move on without all these soul ties, if you will. So find a way to move your body. And also the good thing about moving your body is that it's going to just give you a dose of endorphins. It's going to make you feel healthier. It's going to make you look good as well. And more importantly, it's going to give you energy because once you start moving you just becomes a snowball effect isn't it you become that much more productive but when you're just there and not doing anything and not feeling like doing anything then it's going to be difficult for that feminine energy to flow so whatever it is that tickles your fancy i'm not gonna bore you with workout talk because yeah i go on about it i yabba yabba too much about working out but whatever it is that tickles your fancy do a little bit of that or more of that so that this way you let things flow number five choose the now in the power of now uh ekrat tall tall at all i don't know he said um the reason why you're stressed out is because you're either living in the future or you're living in the past choose the now what can you celebrate now what can you be genuinely grateful for now and when you begin to count your blessings you're going to realize that it could be a zero and when you realize that it's not a zero it's something to celebrate because there are people who are actually in worse situations so start by celebrating where you are and looking at how blessed you are what is left because at the end of the day it's about what you do with what is left it's not so much about what they took away from you but it's also about you multiplying that which is left so start counting your blessings one by one and actually practicing meaningful gratitude and when you do that it's going to lift up your mood and that energy you know you're going to start to feel joy and when you start feeling joy obviously everything is going to be transformed point number six have your own rule book what do i mean by this your do's and your don'ts your what makes you happy sitting with your emotions and really discovering what is it that your soul is craving for and what can you do to put you in alignment with that which your, show, your soul is trying to tell you. Because sometimes we forget when you are in those places, uh, when we are in those low places or when we don't feel feminine or when we don't feel like the best versions of ourselves, when we're just in Lodiba. So by doing those things, by having your rules, by having your own rule book, what excites you? What gets you going? What, yeah, what motivates you basically? And when you come up with those things, it's better to just write it down in your bujo, in your journal, so that this way when you forget, you can always go back to your journal and have your list and pick one or two things from there so that this way you can just implement them and, and transform your mood all over again. And before you know it, once again, you're feeling better and much happier. You've also ultimately increased your, your happiness scorecard. Last but certainly not least, David remembered Mephibosheth, right? And then he put him on the table. So the same with you and I, we need to remember who we are before we were in Lodiba, before we got stuck before the energy got stuck in such a manner that we cannot smile genuine smiles our eyes are not sparkling i was in lodiba and i can tell you it's not a fun place to be my hair wasn't growing my hairline was gone i was not productive i wasn't feeling like my best self and i'm not saying life has to be perfect 
life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful sometimes it really is just about counting your blessings one by one and that will definitely lift you and take you to another level this way when you remember that you are created by God and it's not a wasted life past let it go it is no power over you it's in the past people have moved on situations have changed those people have also moved on they have lived their lives so you should also live your life but it honestly starts by remembering who you are remembering what it is that your soul genuinely wants and going after the life that you want no matter how that looks like so be feminine do what you gotta do put on a dress if need be <laughs> that also helps so look good feel good increase your happiness scorecard increase your confidence level because some of these things only you can give to yourself so these are set ways simple ways that can obviously take us out of those places where we feel discouraged where we feel like our energy is just not flowing start moving and remember to make friends with the voices inside your head like what uh, Rihanna said I'm friends with the monsters inside of my head you gotta be friends with them it's what they call shadow work isn't it so that this way they won't have power over you and also silencing the inner critic because at the end of the day it's always the enemy within so that's all we had time for today take care of one another love one another and be kind to one another if nothing else and i shall be seeing you in my next video bye